free move, it's a get up and down. Your Honor, Your Honor, I, I protest, I can't say that word. Uh, it's really quite a uh, three ring, ringling surface. And uh, it, it's really sad to see that disparity, but I think the people's will will be challenged. Win or lose in this battle, you will have an advantage. Because the loss that we announce is uprising, that Vernon will have paid a, a price that shouldn't ever, ever have to pay. And when, one step closer to an America that has more uniform access to Rome. So, there, I could go on talking all night long, and I, I don't want to, but it, it's just, there's a lot of good things going on right now. There's 15 states right now. I'm waiting on a, on a text from Nevada. They're, they're voting on the last uh, Senate bill right now to legalize Rome in Nevada, literally the next two hours. Um, 15 states are in change right now in flux between uh, illegal or more legal uh, raw milk. Things are happening. The National Farmers Union in March of this year uh, changed four policies in their 213 page policy manual to support raw milk, raw milk access, good, good standards for raw milk, and interstate commerce with raw milk. So things are happening, and it's happening in spite of the FDA saying raw milk one drop will kill you. Well, I'm here to tell you that gallons of raw milk will nourish you. And we need to stand together as the United States of America, as people that understand that our best sciences right now are being literally muffled. Our best scientists at the National Institutes of Health and UC Davis there are speaking the truth about the human genome and how we need this good bacteria are being muffled by the FDA and said, don't speak. The, uh, the splash newsletter that's put out every month that UC Davis is being told, you can't put that out in public in, uh, absorption and, and consumption because it speaks too well of raw milk. So we have a scientific disconnection between the greed of the revolving door of the food eat policies of the FDA when they're in bed with the processors. And it's we the people that dollar vote. It's the moms that say, not enough of that. I don't want to put the most allergenic food in America in my child. I want wonderful food from Vernon's <coughs> farm in my child. So it's we the people that need to act and move forward as, as one as we win these little challenges in every 50 states and all this stuff as we move and proceed forward. Remember that there are states that are really challenged as other states are well nourished. is not here in court because he produces milk. Vernon is here fighting his legal battle because he produces raw milk. Well, if he and the government have an issue because he produces raw milk, it seems fairly obvious to me that the phrase raw milk should be admitted into the procedure because that's why he's there. Whole food, right? It is also fairly obvious to me that if the prosecution, you know, systematically objects to that phrase and will not allow the phrase raw milk to be uttered, then it's also obvious to me that the government in general and our judicial system in particular operates on the basis of fraud. And if the government is treating us with fraud, we, the people, have a responsibility to fix that. I, I had to walk into the court today with a jacket on to cover my uh, Get Raw Milk because that was offensive to the truth that this, uh, not to be spoken today. So, yeah, we've got a real challenge on our hands and win back that fair play and whole truth and whole food.